What's going on guys? So it's been a while since we did a Q&A and I was so excited that I decided to do it the day before Saturday because usually we do Q&As on Saturday. But you know, I figured because it's been a while, just do it the day before. Why not? Uh, so these questions come from Zaid. Uh, I'm going to guess Ahmed. I can't really pronounce the names. I'm not really good at that. Um, I'll leave it in the description somewhere. Um, but uh, anyway, let's uh, yeah, let's um, let's get into this. Uh, and I like these questions because these questions are him asking me. Uh, unlike the <laughs> last video where you know Mass Bow is just like Mass Bow. Is, is it Mass Bow? I don't know. It's either Ma Mass Bow or Mass Bow. It's one of the two. I'm sorry about that, but you, you man, you know what I'm talking about. You just decided to give me like, what was it, like 70 to 80 questions that you pulled from the internet. It was hilarious, and I still did it because out of a joke, but um, but yeah, I, I did like to answer some of those. So anyway, uh, I like a lot of these questions here. I really do like these questions. So let's, let's start. So n number one, he asks... What is your favorite movie of all time? Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Spider-Man 2. Um, and I'm going to explain why. A lot of people say Spider-Man 2 is the greatest Spider-Man movie of all time. Uh, and it is. It is. It really is. But here's why I think it's the greatest movie of all time. It has my favorite scene in it, of course. A lot of people talk about it, which is the train scene. But a lot of people don't talk about the scene after that where the people just kind of of, of New York just kind of defend Spider-Man. And that got me, you know, heartfelt. I could feel that in the moment. Even when I was a little kid at like, you know, eight years old, uh, eight to seven years old. So I really, really loved that moment. Um, but I do like this movie for more than just that because of the fact that Spider-Man and Peter Parker's life are colliding. It's hard for him to balance out his life, you know, all that. So that's why it's my favorite movie of all time, um, my favorite superhero movie of all time, and just overall a great movie. It just, just even if you took the superhero aspect out of it, I think it really is just a good movie. Um, so number two, yes. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby, uh, I'm guess I a lot of you probably already can tell. It's it's playing video games. Uh, I like when I'm not doing nothing to just sit down and play my video games um because i enjoy that i enjoy doing that and that's one of the reasons why i started doing youtube videos because you know it's something that i just kind of like to do so it just kind of stuck and then you know it it is what it is today so yeah but playing video games it's my favorite hobby um Number three, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Now, I didn't really get into basketball until um, I was, I believe when I was in like fifth or fifth, sixth grade. Um, I think the first time I went, I, I, we went to a championship, but we lost it. Um, but we were able to go, which was kind of cool. Um, and then I went to a different school uh, I'm not trying to say names because I don't want to really talk about the names of the school. But um, then I moved to moved to a different school. Uh, I played basketball for them. Um, the team was okay, but it wasn't as good as the previous team. Not to be a jerk, that's why I didn't want to bring up the names of the school. Um, but uh, besides that, uh, when I play basketball, uh, I, I like playing basketball. It's so sometimes uh, I don't play it a lot anymore because usually when I play basketball. I get really frustrated sometimes because it's like, you know, why couldn't I make that shot? Why couldn't I get that layup? You know, why couldn't I, like, bounce? Why did I bounce it and then it just flared off into a different direction? Um, but um, but basketball is my favorite sport. Uh, I do like a lot of other sports too, like football, uh, hockey, uh, and stuff like that. It's just... Um, because my mom was a big influence on my sports suggestions, uh, basketball is my highly, uh, sp the, the sport I most likely will play. Um, but anyway, um, let's move on. Number four, he asks, 
Who is your all-time favorite actor? Now, this was a hard question for me. This is this is and this is why I like these questions because th these questions had me stumped. I had to actually think about it for a while. Um, and my favorite actor of all time is Chris Pratt. Now, when I was younger, I watched a lot of Adam Sandler movies, but then you know after that was that that era was over. Um, then I started growing up, and then. I start thinking about the modern day. I'm like, who who now do I like as my favorite actor? And then it was Chris Pratt. Um, I like Chris Pratt because I liked him in the Lego movie. I liked him in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And just overall, he's a cool guy. I've seen him in interviews, uh, people talking to him. He, he seems like a really cool guy. Uh, so I also not just like him as an actor, but I also like him as a person. Uh, so there's that. And then number five, this is a good question, and this question is going to veer off into, into to me talking about nut stuff. Um, he asked, who is your favorite, number five, who is your favorite YouTuber? That was a good question, too, because there were a lot of YouTubers that I do like and I still like. Um, and a lot of them influenced me. I will tell you who my overall favorite is, but I'll also give you a couple honorable mentions. Um, my favorite YouTuber is the Rad Brad. I really like the fact that, you know, he just sits down, you know, he enjoys playing video games on his channel. That's what he does. He doesn't really like review games. He just kind of plays them. Uh, that's what he does. Um, but me, I kind of take inspiration from a lot of other different type of people. Like, I take inspiration, and this is when the honorable mentions comes. I take inspiration from uh, Angry Joe, who, you know, he reviews games. I was, so I decided uh, for my channel, I was like, okay, I'll play the game, and then I will review it. So I had this combination of reviewing games and, uh, you know, playing them. So I, I really like that I combined all the stuff. And then the trick was, uh, over over time, as time progressed, uh, as I was doing YouTube, if some of you have been here for longer than anyone else, like the first 10, 20, 30 subscribers, a lot of you probably know that I went through a lot of different name changes. Like, first we were called The Outlaws, first we were, then we were called, um... We were, we were called many different types of names. It, it was it was me trying... Um, I think the first name was just my name in general. Um, but, but I changed it because I was like, okay, I need a name that kind of works for the channel and that kind of works for my personality. And so I went with uh, Super Mike because I like superheroes. And that's mostly what I talk about here on the channel. Even though I will do other things, like I'll talk about, um, you know, I'll talk about, uh, like, like horror movies or horror games or um, comedy sh movies sometimes, um, if I feel like it. Uh, sometimes I like to mix it up, but mo majority of the time I do focus on the superhero stuff, um, just because that's kind of what my channel revolves around lately. Uh, is just that, but I do like to veer off, talk about games, uh, you know, play games for you guys, review games. Um, I, I know some of you probably noticed if you watched a couple of the reviews, not all of them, but recently I've been trying to edit them. I've been trying to put gameplay footage in like uh, Anger Joe. I've been trying to, you know, basically do it in that form, but do it in my own way. So, so it's this idea of me trying to find my personality and me trying to find something that works for me that I enjoy and that my audience will enjoy. So it's, it's, it's a balance of, you know, me as a YouTuber, where, what am, what's my personality like, who am I as a person, stuff like that. So, but yeah, I, I, I uh, my favorite YouTuber of all time, it's, it's the Rad Brad. I just, every time he makes a video, uh, even if I don't care for it, 
like even if it's like about football like you know madden or whatever i was like okay fine i'll watch it you know because i want to want to see him you know talk about it and stuff while he plays it but um but yeah guys um i uh yeah there you go it's, that was a little long-winded but um moving on now this question he really got me stumped this was a very very good question props to you props to you man with this question he asks number six what is your favorite comic book now that was a very very good question and i actually have uh my one favorite, and I have two honorable mentions because I, I just I love these comic books. I really do. So before I tell you what my favorite one is, I thought it would be better to start with the least l the least one I like. And that one is Superior Spider-Man issue 30. Now this is again, this is one of my honorable mentions. Superior Spider-Man issue 30 is when, you know, Doc Ock in Peter Parker's body, um, in case you don't know, um, Doc Ock, there was this thing with, where Doc Ock switched minds with Peter Parker, and uh, Peter Parker died, but he didn't really, uh, in his mind. It, it's a complicated story, you gotta read it. Um, but basically in this issue, um, one of my favorite moments is where superior spider-man doc well that's what i just call it, doc ock um so doc ock he he got he has to save this little girl from getting hit by a train but the problem is is that he's over analyzing things and he has this problem but spider-man is like jump gra grab her quick like like spider-man doesn't hesitate he just saves people and doc ock knows that and this eventually leads to uh doc ock and peter parker having this this very this this warm welcoming feeling and understanding of each other uh, each other's lives where they just start exploring each other's memories and um you know doc ock admits that you know that peter parker is the superior spider-man and that's just really one of my favorite moments even all the way to the end where he fights uh green goblin and he saves the city it really really just really overall good comic i recommend it even if you hate superior spider-man the the last issue is really good it is um and my second honorable mention is the de the death of spider-man in the ultimate spider-man comics now i'm not a huge fan of the ultimate comics i'm, I'm gonna say that right now i don't really like ultimate comics i think they're kind of eh I think I prefer the mainstream, what people call 616, the main universe, as I like to call it, the main one. Um, so with the Ultimate Universe, I, I, again, this is not about my opinions on the Ultimate Universe. This is just me talking about my the comic. Um, the, one of the things that I give the Ultimate Comics props for is how they handled Spider-Man's death. Um, they did this really, really well. They did this in the most appropriate, make sense way. Spider-Man saves Captain America, gets shot because he couldn't dodge, because he was trying to save someone's life. And I think that that is, you know, that makes sense, you know. Uh, and then all the way to the end where he's fighting in the streets with his mask off and he's just fighting all the villains and then he eventually dies. It just, it did, a, it did his death right. Like, this is probably one of the only Spider-Man comics where they do his death right. Um, but, I don't know. I really do like it though. So, now you guys are, are like, what the hell? What is the what is it? What is your favorite comic book of all time? And that is the Amazing Spider-Man issue thirty-three, the final chapter. And for you comic book nerds out there, you probably know what I'm talking about—the one where Spider-Man is trapped under the rubble, 
Aunt May sick and dying. He's got to get this cure to her, and he's just trapped under this rubble. And he's sitting there, and he's remi- and he's telling himself, if I don't get this off of me and go save Un- go save Aunt May, she's gonna die, and I'll be responsible. I f- will feel responsible for that death, like I did with Uncle Ben. He does not want want what happen to Uncle Ben happen to anyone else so he just he just lifts the thing off and this is this is one of my favorite ones because this shows Spider-Man's true strength and it shows just how strong Spider-Man is and there's a lot of moments where Spider-Man is like they make him look so OP because he is Spider-Man is OP especially with that spider sense and and everything like he like you really can't beat the guy. Like, like the only person I feel like can beat him is Superman. But if Spider-Man knows that his kryptonite is, is you know, his weakness is kryptonite, he's just going to whip out kryptonite and then he'll beat Superman. I don't know. But, but I guess there are other characters who are OP than Spider-Man who can beat him. Um, but, but I feel like Spider-Man is one of those OP characters. And The Amazing Spider-Man issue 33, the final chapter, really shows you how strong and, and willpower he has. Like, and that's the best part about him is his willpower, his drive, his, this, this, you know, it, it just, it, it gives you everything you love about Spider-Man and it just puts that to paper and shows you. And that's what I love about that one. And that's why it's my favorite comic book. All right, so this is the final one. This is this this I'm gonna make short because this is really not even a contest. He says number seven, who would win win in a fight, Batman or Spider Man? Spider Man. And here's why, and I'm gonna give you the reason why. Spider Man wins because of his spider sense. If Batman can't counter his spider sense or anything, if he doesn't even know it exists, Batman's not gonna win. Batman strikes from the shadows. Spider-Man's going to see that coming a mile away. I mean, could he somehow whip up something with preparation? Yes. But but with but like all of a sudden bump into each other and then you start fighting, Spider-Man's going to win that fight. Um but anyway, guys, um That's it. Uh that's that's the Q&A. Seven questions this time. I like to keep it short. Uh anyway, um Thank you for the questions, uh, Zade. Zade. <clears throat> I'll have his name in the description. Um, but thank you for the questions. Uh, like I said, in the Q&A videos, if you guys got any more questions, write them down in the comments. Uh, I'll write them down so that I can read them to you guys. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.